goddamn piece of shit. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's Most Elite Let's Play. Oh my god, I've been talking about it forever. And uh, it's time to do it. It's time to just get it done. So, as promised, as requested by myself in the mirror every day when I have to force myself to do something productive or I fall into a depressive slump, we're at Resident Evil, boys and girls. No discrimination here. And I figure, you know, what a perfect game to play while the entire world is burning down of a virus. Am I right? Am I right? So, instead of going outside and dealing with the actual T-Virus, I'm going to play Resident Evil 2 and deal with uh, the, the made-up one. Because at least I know this one has a happy ending, kind of. So, you know, just let me get comfortable here. It's casual uh, whatever today is. What's today? I don't know. It's casual that day. Got my nice little blazer combo jacket. Let me just get the jacket off. That'll be the sound you're hearing there. And now uh, we can get this thing started proper. I'm skipping the cutscenes. of This game's been out since January 2019. If you haven't seen them all by now, I am not responsible for that. So I'm skipping the cutscenes. I might let them run if I get into my, one of my rants, turn this into sort of a podcast play. <laughs> oh, the fusion of Let's Play and Podcast. That's copyrighted, by the way. Uh, so, you know. But here we are. We're, we're going to... We're gonna rock some some Resident Evil 2. Now, normally I speed run this a lot. I know I talk a lot of shit on my uh, my uh, podcast. I'm pretty good at this, uh, you know. And that's not just me boasting. I'm actually alright at this. Uh, I'm not as good as everyone in the world. I'm not super fire. So this is going to be like a semi casual, business casual sort of approach to the game. I'm gonna pick up some a little more items than I normally would. I'll probably. Uh, I'll probably, uh, I'm, I'm not going to save, so if I get clapped, I get clapped, but I, um, I'm going to do some speed run tech here and there, I'll do some safe stuff that I know, so, like, I don't get bopped, and then everyone makes fun of me in the comments, uh, so yeah, I, I've been really excited to do this, I wanted to do it with a guest, maybe episode one won't have that, but I promise those who actually like the guests that I bring on, who are just my close friends, I will have a guest on this Let's Play. I plan to do tons of these. This is just day one. I finally got the time. I finally got the motivation. And I'm super excited to be playing Resident Evil 2. I'm going to play this one first. I'm going to do the whole game as Leon. Leon A. If people want me to do Claire, I will. Uh, but I'm going to do the whole game as Leon. And then I will do Resident Evil 2, the original. I don't, unfortunately, I don't have a PlayStation One, so I have I bought the PC version, so I'll be playing I'll be playing the PC version, and it is the DualShock version. It is not the Japanese speed run version because I cannot find it. I wish I could. If I could, I would have it and I would run that version. Unfortunately, I don't know where that is, so I will be playing the DualShock version, which is kind of dumb because the zombies are placed differently. And yeah, whatever. That's a story for when I'm actually running that. But for now. Resident Evil 2, number 3 is coming, so you can bet your, your bottom dollar that as soon as 3 drops, I will be doing a Let's Play for it. Uh, I'm going to beat it first, so I at least look competent. I don't want to seem like, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. So, you know, I don't know. That's just my vanity. Just, I mean, I could do a blind run, right? Who, who's actually judging me? Me. That's the answer to that question. I'm I'm judging me. So, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Um... So, I'm probably going to try to show off some speed run tech and fail, because that's sort of everything that in my life. It's like, I try to be cool and it just does not, it does not pan out. So, you'll see me doing this on the stairs if you're paying close attention. I can't believe I'm explaining this, but some people might not actually know. So, when you aim your gun, you may notice that Leon's animation jerks forward and he's propelled at a faster clip than when he is walking. Or just basically running. So... That's what that's what's happening there. That's why I'm doing that. This zombie has a cool dodge. I'm not going to try it because I'm gonna get bit. But he does have a really cool dodge where you can just sort of walk right by him, and like he he doesn't notice you if you look at the ground. I think that's his activation trigger. Not good enough. Now I've been resisting the urge. Oh, so this, since this isn't a speed run, I can actually just sort of play this like normal. So playing like normal, I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna delete this key. I'm gonna get these bullets. Uh, I'm never going to open the box, probably, unless I absolutely have to. Uh, you know, I'm not going to save. 
So if I get killed, I get killed. And whatever. Um, then again, this is pretty casual, so maybe I will save. Maybe I'll, I'll save myself the trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. A lot of secrets in this game. Uh, much like every Resident Evil game, it can be beaten in like 49 minutes, you know, if you know everything. I do know everything, just not good enough to pull that 49 yet. I think my fastest time in this game is like 103, 102, one of those, which is a pretty respectable time, just not the time I want, you know, kind of bums me out. Been, been struggling, uh, specifically here, I can't get to the basement at like... Most world record paced or top 10 pace, you can get to the basement at like 9.53 or not. I mean, I'm sorry, not 8.53 or 8.52. I saw one guy's, but I think he might have been cheating because I don't see him anywhere on uh, speedrun.com anymore. But he was down there at like 8.34. And I was like, how is that possible? I haven't seen his name on like, I looked up his account. He's like gone. So I was like, I was like, was he banned? I don't know. Regardless. I haven't been able to beat the police station in under nine minutes. I always get downstairs at like uh, nine. My fastest time was nine. And you notice I paused it there. If you pause it there as that zombie is bursting through the door, instead of him banging on it like four times, he'll once you unpause it after a couple of seconds, he'll just burst through immediately because to him, time kept moving. It didn't stop like with you with the pause. So that's a bit of a, a little thing for you guys. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. Yeah, the whole world's actually on fire right now. I went into a market earlier. Now, I, I wasn't buying anything, but I did go into a market. And, uh, yeah, it's um, it's kind of unacceptable the way people are behaving. But look, I get it. You're, you're concerned, and the media has whipped you up into a frenzy and everything. But keep in mind, you know, we've had a couple of pandemics declared before in, uh, in, in everyone's lifetime. The people who are, like, freaking out, it's been in their lifetime. So it's it's like mind boggling to me that uh, they're behaving this way. I don't know. I'm gonna put these healing items away in the box. I know I said I wouldn't go in the box, but I forgot that I don't need to. Uh, I don't need any of that. I actually, don't even need these. Just picking up items just in case later. I'm like, oh no, I'm hurt. I got I got punched. I got liquored. Whatever. It's not gonna happen. But just in case, you know. I'm talking extra shit. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get bopped. At a certain part coming up. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Yay, he's going to touch me later. Which is messed up because I, I feel like I do that dodge really well when I'm playing. And then when when it, like when I'm, what is it called, practicing. But then when it's like crunch time, I just get, I get, I get bobbed. So I don't know. I'm trying to hit circle to mantle. I've been playing a lot of division lately. That's why I, I paused there. So my, like my left stick is, normally in these games, like clicking the stick to run, my left stick is like messed up. So I, I put on a control scheme B where you do circle to run and I have it toggle. So I just tap circle when I'm running, which is really good for me. But sometimes I uh, forget that because I've been playing the division. Division's all right right now. The, the, the update is not great. The update in Division 2 is actually, caused a lot of issues and it's, it's really messed up. I mean... You guys know me from the podcast, so I'm not just going to only talk about this game. That's sort of not my thing. I'll just do the same stuff I always do from, like, the podcast, while the focus will be not getting bopped in this game. You know, I've played this game, like, a hundred times, and I've actually never noticed this really creepy-looking guy here. Jesus. I, and I play this game a lot, like, quite a bit. Also, the costume, probably noticed it. Again, this game has been out for over a year. I'm wearing the, uh the noir like detective leon costume and i this is the one i bought this is the only costume i bought because i like this one a lot that zombie is always there she is never not there for me that is actually really OD. it's kind of messed up dude she she's ruined a lot for as a, as i said earlier i speed run she's ruined a lot of my playthroughs honest to goodness a lot in ways that i can't even like fathom it's pretty messed up but Moving on to the puzzle. I think this is where I lose. So as I was saying earlier, I can't get downstairs uh, fast enough. I, I'm using a, I'm on a PS4 Pro. I'm using a controller. And I simply can't menu through those little uh, rotary things very fast. If you use the left stick, it's faster. But occasionally it'll jump to the right because it's the left stick. If you use the D-pad, it's a set speed. So I think I'm losing like 15 seconds each statue. And I think that's why I've not been able to get downstairs at a respectable time. That's what I think. 
I might be wrong. Somebody who speed runs in the comments, please just tell me what I'm doing wrong. Because I do want to clear the uh, police station in under nine minutes. Uh, my Again, my fastest, 903, 902, something of that. 915, something in that range. Never been under nine, though. And I really would like it to be one of these Marvin. times. Damn it. So, yeah. What was I saying? Division. It's the latest update. Oh, my gosh. It's the latest update. Please don't be here. Please don't be here, zombie. zombie. What did I just beg? I just begged you not to do that. Christ. Division 2. I keep getting sidetracked. This is why I knew the Let's Play would be hard for me without a guest to keep me on track. But the Division 2's latest update is called The Warlords of New York. Look, me and my me and my boy Philly Mac, we're big Division guys. We uh, we 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 played a lot of Division One. He played more so than me because I like gave up on it out of anger after 1.3, and uh, then we got we spent the hundred dollar version. We got the hundred dollar version of two. We were gonna get back into the get back into the into dividing. And uh, yeah, two came out. It had a it had a clear end game, it had clear goals. It's leveling. I mean, it's 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 grinding. Could use a little work. Some of it's balance. It could use work. But overall, it was great. You know, it was look great's a word, but it was passable. It it wasn't like it came out. See, I knew it would touch me. It wasn't like it came out shitty like a lot of games do. To Ubisoft's credit, because a lot of their games come out so shitty. In fact, that they have promised to stop doing that. They're like, yeah, look, we we know the stigma. We know that our games come out bad and we're going to stop doing it but yeah so it's latest it's latest update title update number eight introduced the dlc the warlords of new york and with every update to any game it's going to be some bugs i'm willing to let the bugs go you know i, I don't even mind the bugs what i do mind is the clear broken scaling for multiplayer the clear broken loot like there's no reason i'm playing on heroic or challenging and I'm seeing purple loot drop. Uh, and I'm not the only one this is happening to. Uh, the other day, Massive, the people who created the game, it's just published to Ubisoft. Uh, they did a state of the game. Everyone knows those who plays MMOs and who plays games as a services. Will, they'll, the developers will often hold live streams that are called states of the game or whatever. Warframe does it all the time. Lots of games do it all the time. And so what will happen in the state of the game is like they, they addressed a lot of the core issues that the community has been sort of bitching them out about. There's been a lot of problems, a lot of problems since title update eight. And I, I hope, hope they, that they rectify them. I really do like the division. It is a really enjoyable time. Uh, the only thing I will say though, that I dislike is the changing of in the original, well, in title update seven, every piece of armor could have like, a trait on it which allows you to mix and match and get some really creative sort of builds going and they took that out in this one now only two pieces of armor could have traits on it all the guns still get traits but only two pieces the backpack and the the mask get it not the, the backpack and the chest get a trait i think that's unacceptable because it hobbles us and also what they did was they they nerfed effectively every exotic in the game exotics are for those of you who don't loot shoot or play looters exotics are the the tippy top of the tier in terms of what a weapon or armor can be let so if there's a loot color system it'll start gray then blue then uh green oh no gray green blue then it'll rock out to like purple gold and then exotic will be like red in the division and destiny exotics are yellow uh but yeah and i think it's unacceptable what they did to the exotics each exotic used to have three traits they all now have one some are not good each exotic there used to be a stat in the game called host while holstered meaning if your gun was put away it still had a trait mostly found on exotics they took all holstered traits out of the game i think along with the re reduction of traits on on armors and along with the reduction just overall of your strength as a player, I think we've been hobbled to the point that it feels almost unnecessary. I know Ubisoft likes challenge and they want challenge in their games. I got no problem with hard games. I don't even mind the solo difficulty of like challenge and heroic. It's the scale that the scaling for the group is broke. It's clearly broke. They addressed it on the state of the game. I, I, what I do get, what I take, what I get at umbrage, I believe is the word, what I take umbrage with is when I paid $30 to uh, 
effectively be robbed of my stuff. That'd be like if a, a man came up with a gun to rob me and before he robbed me, he made me pay him a robbing me fee. He's like, all right, bro, I'm going to rob you, but uh, I'm going to need $20 for robbing you. And I'm like, wait, but you're already robbing me. Yeah, no, this is the this is the administrative fee of robbing you. That's what it felt. That's what this update felt like. And it's really a bummer because, as I was saying earlier, I really, really like the division. think it's a great time. It's a super fun game. It always has been. And I feel like the, the, the reduction of exotics being worthy, the reduction of traits on everything that you could rock, uh, I think it's terrible. And I think it's unacceptable. Oh, my God. I'm at the first boss. All right. This will be episode one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it here. I'll see you boys on episode two. And girls, I haven't forgotten you ladies, you lovely bastards. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that bell. I don't care about the subscribe button, but hit the bell. Because since I'm doing the Let's Play, you won't be updated at all with it unless you hit that notification bell. See how I did the little sync there? That's cool. I'm really cool. Some behind-the-scenes stuff. But, yeah. Hit